What is going on everybody? I hope you're all having a great day. Today's tutorial is showing you how you can take your exported Game Boy ROM from GB Studio and to put it onto an actual Game Boy cartridge. It's pretty sweet. People have asked me if I've been able to do this and I have and they've asked how successful or how easy it was. In my case, it was pretty easy. I went to this shop.insidegadgets.com, which you can see on the screen here. And I chose this place because it has the cart flashers and it also has the cartridges themselves. Uh, now, the game that I created is a rather small one. I don't have to worry about game saves. And they have all sorts of different sizes and they have all sorts of different options uh, where some of them can have temporary storage. Some of them have the battery slot so you can save items onto them. Things of that nature. The one I went with was the Game Boy 512 kilobytes and then the 32 kilobytes ROM only flash card. And in that case, you could see here at the time of this recording, it was $14. I didn't think that was too bad. It comes with the cartridge and it also comes with the uh, plastic shell as you were able to see in these screens right here. Now, uh, once I decided what kind of cartridge I wanted to use, also on the site, you can see it's all here on the front page, but right at the top is the flash cart, uh, like the flasher that I used for it or the, the writer or whatever you want to call it. Uh, when you click on it, it'll take you to this page and you can see at the time of this recording, prices range depending on what you need uh, from $33 to $37. And when you scroll down, it has an option in here to download. And this is the software that you need in order to move your ROM onto the cartridge. Once I downloaded it, I went ahead and put it here onto this, onto my desktop. Kind of ignore the OBS there as we go through this. And then I will go here and I will extract all and click extract. There are different types of ways that you can download uh, the software from this web page. I'll go here and show you uh, as that's extracting. So when you click on download, uh, you can see that it has it for Windows or for Linux and Mac, which is pretty cool. If I click on the one for Windows, which is what I'm using here for this demonstration, uh, you can see they have the portable installer. They also have the Windows setup installer. This example that I'm using is the portable installer just for the ease of installing things a little bit easier. Once that is extracted, then I can go here to the Flash GBX application. I'll double click on that and it's going to ask me to install the Flash GBX GUI prerequisites now. I will type in Y and enter. And it asks me if I would like to automatically check for new versions of this application on startup. That is kind of up to you. I'm just going to click no for right now. All right, this is what the program looks like as we have it opened up. Right now I'm gonna take this cartridge and I'm going to slide it onto the reader as best I can one-handed here. The next thing that I need to do is take this cartridge and I'll try to keep this into the screen here and I plug it in to my computer there. And you could hear that little sound. And if you look at this cartridge again here, there is a little button here onto the side. So you can push that in. And then while I'm in here, I will go to connect. Once we are connected, then up here at the top, we need to select which mode that we want to use. I want to select the Game Boy mode. 
and it says no cartridge connected. I'll click refresh. And on the side over here, I will choose 512. And once that is done, I will select Write ROM. It gives me this pop-up here, and I will click OK. And then I need to locate where the ROM is. On mine, I placed it here on the desktop. And if you're not sure how to get that from GB Studio, uh, all you need to do is find game at the top of your GB Studio menu and find where it says export as and then export ROM. And it'll give you a .gb file. I'll select my .gb file here, which is just called game. Then we'll select open. And for the one I will be using with this cartridge is MBC1. Once finished, it says ROM was written and verified successfully. I will click OK. Then down here, I will select Disconnect. And once that is done, I can remove the game cartridge from the reader and writer. Now for the moment of truth on here, I'll grab the cartridge and place it in the back of this Game Boy Color here and we'll flip this on. And as you can see, we have our game on here. And just trying to do this one handed here. You can see that our cartridge is working on here. And there it is. So pretty cool, pretty simple process. Uh, the first time you do it, it's a little bit stressful as you're just trying to make sure everything's plugged in right and everything. Uh, if you're ever not sure which mapper to use or anything like that, uh, there is all that documentation on that webpage I was showing you earlier. It works great. And uh, again, all sorts of resources. And if you have any questions with anything, I'm by no means an expert, but you can shoot me a comment down uh, below and I'd be happy to get back to you and help you out with any of that as I always try to do my very best to do. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd be curious to know what any of you use for cart flashers out there or if you have any that work better uh, or, or if you have any questions. Let's talk it out in the discussion below and see if we can keep on making these cool Game Boy games. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have a great day and we'll catch you on another video.